luck, the Lord Chief of Light is back with another epic video. Hi, my name is Peepigy, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeps, and yes, we will be watching the Dawn Trail trailer. Now, usually, this is my first reaction. This is not. I was at FanFest, so I got to hear the reaction. I got to watch people go crazy. Let's talk about that, as well as my thoughts of it. So, if this is your first time watching the trailer, first of all, this probably isn't the right way to watch it. I'm going to be like stopping here and there and just talking about certain things. So, but either way, this is exciting as all hell. So let's get going. Ah, blue seas. Clear skies and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? Okay, so first of all, uh, this is the first time I hear the music and like the subtle voices in the background. Um, let's be honest, FanFest was not the place to listen to the subtleties of stuff because people were going fucking bananas for this new trailer. And then every time it played in a loop, people were screaming and just loving it, okay? Uh, so first off, we're getting I, a voice that I can recognize, but I can't seem to put my finger on it. Next, Aaron Bell. I'm going to start with a big apology to the Final Fantasy XIV community. I thought he was a throwaway character. I thought he was going to be part of one expansion and just let go. Left to the wind like many others. Yes, I liked him as a gleaner. I liked him as a quest giver. Listen, he's a POC, one of our first major characters that is. A bun boy, a handsome little bun boy. We love all that. I did not expect that the Final Fantasy XIV community not only loved him, they fucking loved him. Sweet Jesus, how the room screamed when he showed up on screen. Like, he got the biggest pop next to one other moment, which we'll talk about in a second, but... So yeah, I was dead wrong. Dead wrong. But yeah, here he is. Here's our boy. Five o'clock shadow. If you don't know, I call Estinia my IRL husband because he acts just like him. Identical, like grumpy on the outside, soft and mushy on the inside, and not so great with money. So, I get excited every time I see him on the screen. Now, I don't know this story. I believe it was called the Mamulja, which people told me about. It's not something I knew distinctively. So, if you're excited about this, great. I have no idea. So, which is good because. That means Final Fantasy IV is going to take this bitch for a ride. Okay, we will notice that this is a one sword. Okay, on, I thought that this was our reveal. This was our hint to the new classes. I was wrong. That's a gunblade. Now that I see it up close, and I was like, yeah, that's one hit, so I'm gonna watch for it. No. It turns out that's a gunblade. I didn't think it was when I first watched it. Again, I'm wrong on this, like, tenth view. But again, I saw it on big screens, like... Let me tell you, I love our taco cat. 
I love, love, love. Graha is my bestie. It's like, I want to go to Starbucks with Graha every day. Talk about people. It's that kind of guy. Um, not only did the people fucking lose their mind, okay? And to be fair, people screamed every time they saw a scion, but Graha. Graha had that pop. Graha had the deafening noise. The taco cat. People fucking love the taco cat. It got to a point that at FanFest, it played on a loop, amongst other videos, so it would come every X amount of minutes, and every single time our little taco cat went there and was like, um, screams, deafening screams, not just like the three or four big Graha fans, no, the room erupted every single second time. It was madness. People loved it. I mean, I like it too, but like, whoa. Again, a reaction that just blew my mind. <laughs> okay, so this is something that I was just like, oh, there's a studio. I love this studio. Now that I'm looking at this, look at this. He is surrounded by children. Baby Mamulja. Babies. And that face. Perfect. I am so glad that we took the time to watch it again because, <gasps> bitch. Might you have a moment to speak further? We have Thancred trying to get some information. So I'm assuming when they split up, like Thancred and Udiongi are on left side, you still on the other. Which again, I'd like to see that conflict. Speaking of Udi Anger, like I paused it at a really good spot. Uncle Uncle Udi is like Hey. <laughs> Speaking of hey. At last we are come to the Bitch, please. What the fuck? We've got Meteor with a 5 o'clock shadow. I want to show you guys something that, again, I did not see at FanFest, but now that I've got it up close and personal, and somebody told me to look for it. Our, uh, our boy is, uh, starting to gray. And you call the new He daddy-fied. Starting to cry, starting to show his age. Wish I had a little bit more of the beard. He says, Our boy's looking good. And his oh, hair? Please. Square Enix, you knew what you were doing on top of that. Now that we've been, I've been back for a whole like three days, which is not long, the fan art of listen, you thirsty bastards out there, I am so proud of the community. You keep this girl going. It is excellent. 11 out of 10. Twitter this stuff. Google it. It is chef's kiss. You guys are fantastic. Amazing. I love you all. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, 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 go back. It's a big moment right there. <laughs> Most replay. Look at that. Oh. We got the Final Fantasy 16 chest boob. Phoenix knows what they're doing. And again, Most Replayed is right there, so... Y'all can blame me for being thirsty, but YouTube's analytics ain't lying. My home Put out. Put out. Okay. Okay. Cool. That is so cool. Um, one thing to note is something I've seen in an interview. Um, Yoshi P specifically requested that there be a rainbow in the logo, and this disc is supposed to be a rainbow. Generally speaking, I would have preferred a little bit more overt coloring to represent it, but that's what she is. Ah, I'm so excited. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this with me, looking at it back. And again, I finally get to hear a lot of the stuff. I got to see his stuff a little closer. Estinia with the BBs. Yes, I want this so bad. Uncle Udi Angers.
Air Taco Cat. Listen, and Aaron again. I, Aaronville was the unexpected superstar that I had no idea you guys were into, but y'all proved me wrong, and I'm, I'm okay being wrong, seriously. So either way, I loved this trailer when it first launched. I think it's a great toe dip into what Dawn Trail looks like it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic expansion. It looks like it's going to be a return to adventuring, which, yeah, I'm down. I, I am so down to not be dealing with gods and to be dealing with culture, with people's issues, with looming politics. I want that again, and I can't wait. Oh, and one more thing, which seems to be an important thing, like, really? It does not go there. No. It's not a thing that I'm going to have to say very often. No. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Have yourselves a legendary night, and I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one, because there's still a whole lot to nerd out about. Maybe I'm Bye.